Hi there, uh, my name is Simon Devine and I'm here at the Festival City uh, exhibition. Um, it's a collection of photographs from the Norwich and Norfolk Festival 2011. Um, photos of all the major heritage sites, such as we have St Andrew's Hall here, and we have a gentleman setting up the lighting rig here. Um, this photo was taken by a good friend of mine, Harry Matthews, and uh, they're all kind of living up to this quality. Um, this wall that we see here is four of our favourites that have been picked between us all. Um, cover all the heritage sites, uh, such as the Forum, and all the way through to uh, we do the Cathedral, uh, the, uh, Theatre Royal, got uh, Peter Mancroft Church as well, just outside the Forum. This was um, the Iron Giant, held by a group, um, a disabled performing arts group called Grey Eye. Allow me to show you the venues in uh, more detail, got plenty more photos. Um, this is the Theatre Royal side of things. Uh, a couple of us went to see a band called Staff Bender Billy uh, from Congo. This is one of the photos that I took personally um, at the Theatre Royal uh, to document the festival. Uh, this was Staff Bender Billy uh, doing the sound check, the sound and light check. Yes, this is a photo of Sax Massive. This is Andy Shepherd, the man himself who brought 200 saxophones together to play outside the Forum and the Millennium Play. Uh, it was absolutely brilliant, quite a surreal thing to see. I mean, you could see all the saxophones going on. It was amazing sight, amazing noise, really good fun to shoot. Uh, that was the first day of uh, the Norwich and Norfolk Festival launch. Uh, we'll come back to more of the Norwich and Norfolk Festival launch. Uh, we've got some photos over there of the Wolves on the show. But uh, we'll take you around Chapterfield Gardens to show you some of the things that went on in the May Days in Chapterfield Gardens. Well, uh, one of the main events at May Days was this uh, crazy band called um, Always Drinking. Um, they're a Spanish band, a Spanish ska cover band. And uh, yeah, they were a real party vibe, had everyone moving in Chatfield Gardens. They were moving from the Forum to Chatfield, all around the city, getting everyone involved. Really good vibe they set up. Another set of performers at the North Norfolk Festival were actually a group called Foundation of Indian Performing Arts Group, the FIPA they were called. They were these guys, uh, they were telling some kind of bizarre Indian story uh, and they were all on stilts and fancy dress. Uh, as you can see over here we've got guys with wings, they have big bow and arrows, lovely ladies with skirts, uh, lots of surreal characters going on so they were great fun to shoot. I believe on the other side we've got uh, more Chatfield photos if you'd like to come join. In this part of the exhibition uh, is actually Chatfield Gardens, uh, a lot of it. Uh, but as we can see, there was also a couple of performances at Chapterfield Mount, which is uh, the first time it's been used in a festival. That was uh, the Bad Taste crew doing the break dancing there. They were very cool. It was a really wicked festival this year. We had um, Robo du Forget, um, which I think roughly translates as um, Rocket Tail. I'm not too sure. I think it's Portuguese for Rocket Tail, but uh, they were a massive samba band, dressed up, funky, pounding music. It was you know, music in the streets has been absolutely brilliant this year. Also, there was uh, some more alternative kind of things going on, like uh, this was a hocus pocus theatre. They had gypsies and beardy ladies, and it was just brilliant photo opportunities for everyone there. I mean, the beardy lady, how often to get to see that? And yes, if we continue around the other side, we'll find uh, more pictures of Chapfield Garden. These are pictures of always drinking. I mean, uh, they were taken by all of us. Lots and lots of pictures taken of always drinking because we all loved them, they were spot on. This one is one of my personal favourites. This one's taken by Liam and this just sums them up. They're really good guys. Uh, there was about 12 of them and try to get them on the photos, as you can see, has made for really good photos. Uh, we've got a couple of really good ones of them that we'll get to later. But um, this one is my personal favourite right here, which is brilliant. And also, this one here, where he's having a dance with uh, what appears to be Danny's daughter. So, because they were just those type of guys, really involved, grabbing everyone, getting everyone dancing, full on energy, we loved them. Well, that's enough for Chatfield Gardens. Let me uh, take you back to the first night, the opening night, when the Wolves came out in Norwich. This was, uh, this was the first night in Norwich, the first night of the NNF Festival after Sax Massive. It was about 10 o'clock at night. So it was dark and the atmosphere was set in the city, as you can see from uh, some of the photos, but uh, it was uh, basically uh, there were these men in giant mechanical robotic wolf suits uh, telling the story of uh, the Pied Piper outside the Forum through the streets of Norwich. Uh, There's a dance routine, kind of following festival vibe to it. 
extremely good fun to shoot. Couldn't have done it without Mr. Andy Safey's help though, because it was nighttime photography and that proved to be very, very difficult. As you can see, uh, we played around with light levels, we uh, played around with uh, flashes. Uh, this is an uh, outside forum as well, one of the heritage sites. As you can see here, as uh, the wolves being mechanical and all the lights and the darkness and everything really played off each other so we could get some really nice shots. Uh, this was actually the fantastic lady herself who was uh, taming the wolves because it was a Pied Piper so she had to uh, get them out of town again. But uh, it's, it's alright, it turned out alright. It was not as scary as it looks. I mean, this is pretty terrifying. This is one of the wolves up close. But they're all top quality, spot on photos and we all appreciate them very much and made sure that they made them into the exhibition. Well, on this side of the exhibition, it's uh, back to the Sax Massive actually. Uh, this is a great portion of the photos that were taken, mostly emphasis on the forum as we can see here. It's, uh, uh, this is one of my photos actually and um, yeah, I had to just show the portion of the crowd that was um, actually uh, turned up for it because with 200 saxophones you couldn't miss it, really lit up Norwich. Uh, these are the two conductors we were talking about. They, had a battle, they jeweled off between them. They had a hundred saxophonists each all playing different. Um, really good show. Got lots of chord photos. As you can see, there we are. 200 saxophonists, lots of shiny, shiny saxophones. Brilliant, excellent fun to take photos of. Um, we've also got uh, some professional photographers who took some photos of the project. We've got uh, about six to 10 of the photos up in this exhibition. This one here is um, Mr. Rod Penns. Uh, it's um, a panoramic shot of the forum, which is a real, so it's real emphasis on how many people showed up. On this board, as an opening event still, there's more sex massive, more wolves, but this board's really great because we get to see um, some of our photos uh, played up against professional photos. As you can see, this is one of mine, and this is Andy Safey, who's one of the professional photographers. Um, so it's really good to see our photos up there with other professionals. I mean, over this side, uh, we've got Adam Watson's photo, uh, and he's a guy from the YM. And this is also um, uh, Gemma Micklebrook, who was a professional photographer also on the project. I think most of us guys uh, on this project really found it quite awesome working with professionals. I mean, being there in the field with us, right beside us, it was great to have them telling that we were taking great shots, and it was great to have them to point us in the right direction and make sure that everything was uh, going absolutely perfect. And it was flawless because, I mean, Andy Sabie, who worked with us, has been an absolute star and he's a bit of a hero of mine, so... Uh, yeah, but working with him was fantastic. On this board, uh, apart from uh, the first pictures of the cathedral and the churches and everything, uh, a lot of these photos are actually professional photos uh, mixed in with the YMs. I mean, uh, we've got about four on this board, but you'd... Uh, You'd never be able to tell, really. I mean, there are photos of such great quality. I mean, everyone's really put the hard work in and made a real good effort. Yeah, it's... Wow, I can't even tell the difference anymore. This is um, the Sax Master of Practice in St. Peter Mancroft Church. It was uh, exceptionally noisy in there. Uh, I managed to sneak in backstage, uh, see everyone playing, got some really wicked photos, especially with some of the kids joining in, having a laugh with the sax. It was, Good vibe in there. This photo here is actually taken by uh, one of our, uh, our creative assistant, uh, Mr. Johnny Crabb, and it's uh, been sold for a wholesome £25, which will be put towards uh, the YMCA Biobrick. So um, that will help to build a new uh, YMCA building out at the top of St. Giles. Uh, we have a couple more professional photographers. Uh, there's Rod Penn, yet again, taking um, massive photos of St. Peter's Mancroft Church. The Iron Man, the Wolves again, lots of fireworks, nighttime photography, great fun for everyone. As we move around to uh, the last couple of boards, uh, you'll find on these boards that it's uh, St Andrew's Hall and the Cathedral. Uh, you can see uh, these ones, St Andrew's Hall was really good fun to shoot. Uh, there, was a, there was a Britain Symphonia that was shooting in there, uh, but there wasn't a lot going on, so we got to shoot a lot of the uh, the hall itself uh, got uh, beautiful stained glass windows and uh, one of Harry's photos that he's shown. I love this photo, it's just of lights, so simple. If we uh, have a look over here, this side is the cathedral. This is uh, when they were singing the voice project. Uh, excellent, obviously um, Harry had a good time shooting this. 
that is the end of our uh, Festival City exhibition. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we've got information on all the heritage sites that were involved in this photography project uh, on the side of the board. But if you can't find them there, you can go on the website, which is www.cultureworkseast.co.uk and find out exactly what happened with all of us and everyone involved in this. But um, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the exhibition and um, yeah, take it easy. See you next year next Norwich Norfolk Festival.